genes don't come to make things better for humans. Though we have good genes, when they attack you, they grasp you with some sicknesses with the aim of protecting you. That is what they always see when they are asked to live out of your body. But then they refuse, which when it continues causes them to become violent with their victim and start reacting. Now, it is this overreaction that causes a person with gene to be shouting or staring at one thing for a very long, long time. Sometimes they even walk for long hours and never get tired. And due to the power that a lot of Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has given genes, it will be unadvisable to single-handedly work with a person having gene attack because in that state, when the gene takes control of the body, they become stronger than you think. And when you don't take time, they can attack you as well. So if you want to know whether or not you have genes, or if you wish to learn the signs that you can observe for somebody, this is the opportunity and don't miss this. So stay tuned and don't go far. <laughs> To begin with, if you are someone who is afraid of these topics or topics like this, please say istihaza and then go ahead to listen to this video. The first sign you will see when you are attacked by a gene, scholars have put them into two categories. That is, the first one is when you are sleeping and then when you are awake. These are the categories that we can classify the signs that you will see when you are being attacked by a gene. There are signs you will see in your sleep and there are signs you will see whilst you are awake from sleep. And in the first place, why will a gene attack your body or possess your body? This question has been answered in this video. So check it out and know why a gene will access or get hold of your body. Now let's start with the signs during sleep. The first one is when you try to sleep, you find it difficult to sleep. Some people will say it is insomnia, but have you realized the duration of that insomnia? Because once a certain sickness passes a given limit, then it is considered as something spiritual. And so if you are someone who always finds it difficult going to bed or you want to sleep but you can't, why? Just because you can't sleep. And this has been happening for a very long, long time then it is time for you to visit a specialist in Rukia so that you can be checked on. The second thing is seeing nightmares. Dreaming about weird and abnormal things like seeing a cat, a black cat specifically, or seeing a black snake or a black dog. Seeing things like animals that are on the verge of attacking you whilst you are sleeping, or you are seeing things like humans in an unusual way like very tall or very short about to do something to you these signs when you see them on a regular basis tells you that you have been possessed by a gene the third on the list is whilst you are sleeping then you start grinding your mouth or whilst you are sleeping then you are talking in your sleep or some people they chill whilst they are in sleep others also laugh during their sleep in fact anything that you need to be awake to do when you do it in your sleep then it is a sign that you've been possessed by a gene now remember brothers and sisters these things can also be caused by stress and other factors or let me see other environmental factors which is why i keep on telling you that if you see these signs on a regular basis every single time then you have to go see a specialist in Rukia. The fourth sign, my brothers and sisters, is you will always feel like falling from a cliff. Like you are on top of a mountain or you are, or you are on a skyscraper or a cliff and you are falling down from that. If this continues for quite amount of time, then it becomes a problem and you need to see a specialist in Rukia. These are what you will see as a sign when you are sleeping or about to sleep. And for the signs that you observe whilst you are awake, if you have been possessed by a gene, the first thing is that you always have headaches, serious headaches, which you don't know where the cause is coming from. You go for scan and then the doctor will say that he has seen nothing 
is wrong with you, but you are feeling the pains. If this happens for quite a amount of time or days or months, then you need to see a specialist for your cure. Second is that you don't want to hear the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is so sad. You see, when you are introduced to the Quran, then you tune off your heart and hears. Or when you are watching a TV set and then you tune to a channel where there is a recitation of the Quran, immediately you change it to a different set. People like this always feel threatened to listen to the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a clear sign that you need to see a specialist. Because for this, there has there's there's no doctor who can cure this so if you feel like you have that or you have a sign such as this then you need to start seeing a specialist in rukia last but not the least is that you are going to be always lazy always tired and always stressed even if you don't do anything this means that the genes are using your energy at night and that will cause you your day in the morning again if you have pains your limbs joint or some specific part of your body you go to doctors and then they tell you that you are fine nothing is wrong with you then you need to look for a spiritual solution as well because when it comes to spiritual matters the technologies in the hospitals cannot capture them hence there is the need for you to also use a spiritual technology that can do more than what the technologies can do and this technology is actually the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed unto us. So brothers and sisters in Islam, these creatures are not just creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They can do more than you could even imagine. And there are people using them to get to others. And the only thing that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that could stop them is in the Quran. And once you go to see a specialist in Rukia, I mean the correct specialist, then you will testify to this fact that it is indeed the greatest book of all time. So brothers and sisters, these are some of the signs. There are more, but we can't mention all here. These are common ones and once you feel like you have one of the signs during sleep and maybe two of the signs during a week time, then the scholars say, you might have been possessed by a gene, which is a problem. So take care of yourself. Be cautious of genes. Be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And always let the Quran be with you. With this, I think it will be better than nothing. But again, there is a way you can do Rukia on yourself. Though it is not advisable, but if you want to check the signs to see whether or not you have genes, then you can observe and see. Or you can do something that we will mention in our next video on this topic. And if you want to know how to protect yourself from these creatures, give this video a thumbs up and leave a yes in the comment section down below. This brings us to the end of today's video on Rukia. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our content when we produce them. If you want more people to see this video, consider liking this video. And if you have a question or a suggestion, ask a Muslim or leave it down in the comment section down below. With this, I say to you, my brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you. So pray to him for he said in the Quran, Udu'uni, astajib lakum, assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullah, wa barakatuh.